Hey fellow explorers, in this video I'm going to show you behind the scenes where the Yellow Productions magic happens. This is my home studio that I use to shoot my live streams and also to shoot some of my recorded videos at home. I'm going to show you the equipment that I use, talk a little bit about how I use it. The past couple of years since I haven't been traveling all that much due to the pandemic, I've spent a lot of time really perfecting this efficient production studio. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see what I can see. And I've also turned on all the lights, so maybe it looks a little bit different right now. First I'm going to start with what's behind the desk, then on the desk, and then behind me as I film. First I'm going to start with the camera so it makes it all happen. This is the Sony HXR NX80, a 4K camcorder that I really like because it has XLR inputs built into it that I can run my microphone, my Sennheiser MKH416 boomed over where I sit right in that camera so the audio and video is in sync. And the camera's just on a Manfrotto tripod hanging out behind the desk lights. I've got two main lights. The first one right here is the Aperture 300X bicolor light. This is a bright light and I've got this dome on it, this soft box to give it a nice soft light with a grid on it so that the light just shines on me as I sit right there and it doesn't shine on the wall because I'm trying to make the wall blue and not white from these bright lights. Now that one light on the side isn't quite enough so I've got this second light right here. This is the Amaran F22X light panel. You can see this one's really thin. This one's just on a light stand as is the Aperture 300X back there. This one I've got running at 8% and these are both bicolor lights so I can change how white the white is on them. Taking a look at the desk, this is a fully Jarvis laminate desk. This desk uh, raises and lowers so I can make it taller. I can make it lower depending upon if I want to stand or I want to sit and the whole desk is also on casters so if I want to wheel it around or move it around it is super easy and then I just sit on this little stool right here. All right this is the laptop or the brains of the live stream. This is an Alienware Area 51 R2. You can't buy this laptop anymore but I bought this one because it has a desktop processor in a laptop case meaning that it's actually pretty quiet when it runs. The fans are quiet which is important because it's right underneath this microphone so I don't want it to be very loud. On either side of that laptop I have two Dell 30 inch ultra sharp monitors which honestly a little bit big for the setup but what do I look at on these? I look at the chat in the live stream, I look at my notes. This is my notes for this video I'm shooting right now. I've got vMix, the live streaming software that I use, and I've got another screen where if I wanna share Google Earth or some PowerPoint slides or pictures, I see those right there. This little thing down here that people often say, Chris, what is this kind of pill box that you have? This is my um, custom button box, it's called an X keys to be able to change things on the live stream. So if I wanna run my intro, or I wanna run my outro, or I wanna put comments up, I push those buttons to do that. Over here, I've got my MacBook Pro. I travel with this one. This is the new MacBook Pro, um, but this one I use to monitor the actual live stream on YouTube. And then this mouse, this is a Razer Viper wireless mouse. I like it because it has a little dock to charge with. And then I just have this um, glorious PC gaming surface so that it can easily use that mouse on the desk. And then this is plugged into the camera via a capture card that's back here. It's not really that important in that bundle of wires, but you can see where that white cable goes in. It's a Yuan PD570 HDMI, and it connects USB into here to be this little interface right into vMix. Oh, and then I've got this Manfrotto friction arm back here. If I need to set up my phone or something else, I use that friction arm to have another thing to mount up here, although I don't use that all that often. Okay, let's go back into this corner, this screen right here. This is called the Tidbit with a Y. It's a lo-fi display that I can like display different graphics. You might see Nyan Cat on it that you see right there, or Pac-Man. I just think it's fun in the corner. I've got the Philips Hue Cigna Gradient floor lamp here in the back. This thing you can set to be different colors um, in a gradient. I've got blue and pink because I think it looks kind of neat. Oh, and then these little um, yellow Ys, I just got these at like a 
like a crafting uh, fair in Orange County. Some guy had a whole bunch of these wooden letters and of course yellow Ys are perfect for me. And then the final light I've got up here is the Luxley Cello 10 inch light that just washes the wall back there in blue. If I press this button to turn off the room lights, then you can see that's what the whole setup looks like. There's a little reflection over here on the wall because um, of where my camera is right now. But the reason why I have this door hanger right here is that's where this blue light reflects into this camera. So when you watch the live stream, that's why I've got that hanger on the door. All right, now let's take a look at my editing studio where I also shoot some of my videos and live stream. Similar setup down here. This is a fully Jarvis desk. This one's a little bit smaller. It raises and lowers. Streaming laptop right there. This one's a Acer Predator, older laptop, but quiet and powerful. I mount the camera right up here on top of it. This camera isn't on a tripod. It's actually mounted on the desk with another Manfrotto friction arm like I showed you before. This camera is here just for reference. I use a Sony a7S III with this lens on it, the 16 to 35 G Master lens. The camera's packed away on a gimbal right now to shoot some Christmas lights tomorrow. But uh, I actually don't like the a7S III as much for live streaming and recording because it has some focus breathing issues where the focus goes in and out a lot. So I like the camera upstairs a lot better. Two monitors on this setup, 25 inch monitors from Alienware. I like these because they were white and they sort of match the little white aesthetic that's going on down here. Now, oh, by the way, if you're wondering what this is, this is where our bunny MacGyver hangs out when he hangs out in the house. He is outside right now. Oh, and this is my 100,000 subscriber plaque right down here with a little LED light illuminating it. All right, the other things to look at here, this light, this is a Intellitech LC160 light cloth, similar to that LED panel you saw upstairs. Oh, that's our kitchen back there, that's kind of dark. Uh, Godox SL60W light, that's for OC Girl when she does photos and still lifes that we use right here. Uh, I have the Elgato Key Light Air to illuminate me from the side. Microphone, this is the MKH50 by Sennheiser boomed over me, also attached to the desk. And so I roll this around and when I'm not live streaming or shooting, then I push this bas desk back up to the kitchen. So I've got more room right here. By the way, if you're like, Chris, your house looks a little messy. There's a lot of cords. You know what, I live here, I work here. Unlike some other people that show their studio tours, I don't think they actually work in it because they seem to have no cords or life there. In this uh, studio behind my desk right here, I've got uh, Luxley cello light, like you saw before, lighting it up nice and blue. If I need more blue light, I've got one of these little aperture um, battery powered lights that hang out back there. Up here, I've got a Lupo light panels light. This one is a LED light just to light up my hair as I sit in this chair. Oh, what is this chair? I love this chair. This is the Herman Miller Embody Chair. This chair is so super comfortable. Uh, if you're thinking about getting a new office chair and you're a big person like me, you might enjoy this chair. Best chair I have ever owned. And then MacBook Pro over here on the side to monitor the stream. Uh, and a couple of big monitors here in the back when I'm actually editing stuff. And then right up here, I've got the subscribe counter on the Lumetric Time in the background that is a real-time subscribe counter. 276,000 subscribers right now. Thank you to every one of you for subscribing. Oh, and then finally, this microphone back up here, this is the Shure SM7B. I use this microphone when I'm recording uh, voiceovers in already edited videos when there was something I forgot to say or it just wasn't so clear. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tour behind the scenes of the Yellow Production setup. If you want to know a little bit more about just running a YouTube channel, check out this video right here where I dive a whole lot deeper into just the fundamentals of making, recording videos, and being a YouTuber of Gosh, what is it, uh, like 14 years now or something like that. So it's been a great journey and I love doing it. I love all this stuff. It does get a little hot in front of these lights sometimes. Well, fellow explorers, as usual, I won't say goodbye because I'm going to see you in the next video.